Hello and welcome to this Bioanalysis Zone interview. I am Naima Mondrell, editor of Bioanalysis Zone, and today I'm delighted to be joined by one of the 2017 New Investigator Award finalists. So firstly, congratulations on being selected as a finalist for this year's award. And to start with, could you please introduce yourself? My name is Pauline Josekara. I am a postdoctoral associate in the Biomedical Engineering Department at Duke University. Great. What made you choose to pursue a career in bioanalysis? It's some of the experience that I had growing up in Sri Lanka made me think about doing something related to global health. Because in Sri Lanka we have free universal healthcare system which makes a huge impact, a huge positive impact in the society, but we still struggle with limited affordable disease screening systems. In a certain way, it's a, it's a burden to our economy as well. So after I realized that, I thought this could be an area that I can do uh, my scientific contribution, trying to find how we can make uh, affordable, at the same time, free or transferable uh, medical diagnostic systems. Brilliant. Now, what skills do you think you need to be a good bioanalyst? I think it's very important to think outside the box and being able to use a variety of methods and techniques to find solutions to questions. It's not only biological, but any question. And I think more importantly, you need to be a good collaborator and a communicator. Because as bioanalysts, you have to work with a diverse group of researchers, from clinicians to mathematicians, to find how we can implement what we learn from fundamental science to answer biological questions more effectively and make impactful discoveries. What work are you doing that led to you being nominated for this award? I think in general it's how I use nanoscale materials to improve biosensing and therapy. Um, all my work that I have done so far involved metallic nanomaterials. And these metallic nanomaterials, when they interact with light, it often enhances their optical properties. So what I do is I use that in favor to improve an in analytical uh, performances of different spectroscopic techniques. Uh, to give you some examples uh, about my contributions, um, when I was at Rutgers University, I formulated different design rules um, to come up with uh, engineered nanomaterials that can specifically improve the sensitivity of Raman spectroscopy-based techniques. And after my graduate work, I worked with a great team of scientists from Professor Christy Landis and Stefan Link's group at Rice University. We did a fundamental studies trying to see how uh, metallic nanomaterials interact with proteins uh, in, that you usually find in blood. And we used a single particle and single molecule spectroscopy and that study gave us really useful clues about the safety of using these metallic nanomaterials for therapy in biological systems. Now at Duke, um, I work on um, how to translate these nanomaterial-based sensing platforms into clinic. Great. What impact do you think this award could have on the bioanalytical community? I think my work will introduce a unique way of thinking about personalized and uh, medical diagnostics. I would like to say it's the material scientist perspective to come up with influential design, considering all the aspects, materials, chemistry, spectroscopy, and many other factors, combine them all together to make uh, influential design. And what would winning the new Investigator Award mean to you? I think winning the bioanalysis new investigator would mean that it will bring the attention and recognition to the work that I have been doing for many years. It's the kind of attention a postdocs like myself usually do not get. So it will be a huge encouragement and at the same time the visibility that I will gain from the scientific community, it will definitely help in moving forward uh, with my career. And finally, as we're talking awards, who is your favourite award winning film actor and why? It's Leonardo DiCaprio. I think he's a great performer and he has this amazing talent to give life to different roles. He could be the romantic guy and he could be a um, more sophisticated, complex character. And he's not stuck in one type of character in, in his career. 
And I think it's amazing talent, especially when it took so long for his community to recognize him. Brilliant. Well, thank you for joining us today. Remember, you can vote by visiting www.bianalyst-zone.com and clicking on the award section. Once again, thank you for your time and I look forward to hearing more about your work in the future.